Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and today we will be learning how to make swimming system in our GTA series. So I'm gonna continue my GTA series. So this is probably the uh, 14th part, I guess. Let me just quickly check uh, if it is the 14th part or not. Yep, it's 14 parts. So the 14th part of our GTA series. So uh, in this video we will be learning how to make the swimming system kind of like this all right so he swims and if we uh, he does the idle idle animation and then he can swim around and when he comes to the shallow water he can come around and uh, walk around all right as you can see so when he goes in that much he goes to swimming all right so we want to learn how to make this so yeah let's get started uh, there we go so for the tutorial scene i have prepared the tutorial scene uh, gta swimming so it looks something like this so let me just go ahead and quickly uh, disable the, these two so if you want to see my previous videos on uh, GTA series, so if you want to learn all this stuff, then go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see that first, that will help you a lot. So this is what we're gonna make today. This is the simple scene which I came up with. So you can go inside here and you can swim around. As you can see, there's tiles of swimming pool, swimming pool type of thing. Alright, and when you come near, he will go up and come out of the water just like that alright so we want to learn how to make this so uh, so first thing let me just quickly delete everything so that we can start up new uh, where is the water the water and go ahead and delete the script because I have made that and then come to my animator come to player base come on player animator so this is what we made in the previous video however this is not what we made so let me just quickly delete that and that's that now if we go inside here then nothing will happen actually so if you go inside he will just get drunk in there and he can just walk around and nothing actually happens all right so we want him to swim around so let's just quickly do that so for the swimming system of course you will need some kind of uh, animation so i have already downloaded that uh, it looks something like this so one is he when he swims like this it's pretty slow however it is uh, we can uh, change the speed of course and then there's a uh, swimming idle which looks something like this all right so you can find these from mixmo.com as you can see uh, here mixmo.com so you can go to mixmo.com and uh, if you don't know how to use uh, this site go ahead click the link in the description box below and see my tutorial that will help you a lot so go ahead and go to each animation and make sure that they are humanoid and then go to animation and say loop time on both all right loop time and loop time that's that apply and then go to your animator which we made in the previous videos so this is what we made uh, all right and then go ahead and drag and drop your uh, swimming and then swimming idle uh, rename that quickly swimming uh, idle and not a idle I said s swimming idle and swimming swimming uh, swimming idle and swimming all right and then we are going to make transition from swimming idle to swimming and from swimming to swimming idle and here as you can see there are the transition uh, arrows so you have to just go ahead and say don't uh, uh, uncheck this has exit time on both of them and as you can see you have to transition from this state to this uh, animation on some conditions so here are some conditions so let's just do the same thing as we did in the uh, in this uh, idle things so from idle to walk and from walk to idle we said if input magnitude is greater than 0.1 so we will do that same thing so if input magnitude is greater than 0.1 then go to swimming and if it is less than 0.1 then go to uh, idle all right so the, the same thing which we did over here and the same thing we did with the rifle thing uh, so we will do the same thing over here so now you have to go back to your player 
uh, or before we do that before we start coding we want to detect whether we are inside the uh, water or not all right so what we have to do is we have to go to the player and say create an empty object and we will call it water uh, detector water detector all right and bring it near his head and then we are going to add a, a character controller because uh, we want some uh, we want uh, the trigger to be enabled when this happens and the trigger does not uh, I don't I don't know uh, trigger actually in my case uh, it uh, detects only the character controller not other uh, objects like box collider or something so I'm using character controller or let me just go ahead and say box collider uh, box collider so that we can see that if it is working or not so let's just go ahead and remove this uh, capsule collider and use this uh, box collider all right and we have to set it near his head just like that uh, all right, it looks good to me and if you play you can see that let me see if there is a problem or not like a, okay no problem great so there's no problem over here and the other thing which I want to share with you guys that in this pool uh, let me just quickly show you guys what I mean so I have these two things uh, these are actually the colliders only uh, so what these do is that we can go uh, as you can see now we can go in here and uh, from shallow to deep and then from deep to shallow and come over here all right so you have to do this uh, if you want this to work I have just removed the mesh collider from a cube so it looks something like this all right so let me just quickly play and show you guys what is happening you have to set up your scene like this so when we come in here we actually go like from uh, shallow to deep we are going to from shallow to deep and then of course there is no swimming in here but when we go over here uh, let me just take my player bring him okay it's not coming there we go and then from shallow uh, from deep to shallow we come like this floating over here so uh, this is what I did for the scene so let's just remove the mesh collider uh, mesh renderer and there we go so now it's invisible but uh, only the colliders are working Warface <laughs> uh, I was playing Warface now and I thought I should make the tutorial first so let me just close that thing uh, there we go all right, all right so uh, with that done if you are wondering that where I got this water so it is actually from uh, the uh, unity standard assets assets uh, import package and you have to say environment and import that and then you have to say water uh, water basic there we go and then you have prefabs and these are the waters all right so you can use them i have the previous video on how to add the water in your terrain and all that stuff and how to make your environment the previous in the demo as you have seen uh, i have the tutorial on how to make that so now what we want is we have set up our water detector like that and then we can add a tag to that add tag and say plus and i will call it uh, water the same one detector water detector and then come back to your water detector and add the tag of water detector to that there we go now make sure that your uh, water has a box collider like this all right so I have this box collider kind of thing uh, around my water and then it is set to trigger all right make sure you do that then you have to go ahead and say add component and say fsm as we are using playmaker so if you don't have playmaker go ahead click the link in the description box below and download it and import and install it and then you will be able to see this component all right so say edit and my window is open over there so 
drag it here so now what we want to do is we want to say trigger event so as our water is set to trigger so we want to say trigger event and on trigger enter when the water detector uh, comes in contact with this water which means when we are over here and when we go further under the water then we will start swimming so we will say send event new event swim mink there we go and add transition swimming add state and do that and let's just quickly check that whether it's working or not so play and see that if we're working or not so if we come inside the water uh, just like that so now it's not working <laughs> it's not working so uh, as you I, as I've told you that uh, my box colliders do not work in here so I have to add the uh, character controller so character controller you can do the same thing if you want and there we go height to zero hey not 90 zero and reduce the size to this much there we go and now if we play and select our water uh, FSM there we go you can see the state has changed when we uh, got inside the water so it's quite working and what we can do is we can bring our a water detector a little lower so that when we go inside the water it does not goes that much under the water it starts swimming uh, with the water uh, FSM and when we go this much the uh, the guy will start swimming all right so we have to set that so what we want to do is want to say set a bool and before we do that we want to go to variables and go to global variables so actually global variables are uh, the variables that can be used uh, that can be used uh, from one FSM to the other FSM so you can use the global variables or uh, in all your scene uh, and all your game objects alright uh, so let's just say a global variable to be a bool and let's uh, call it uh, water or say underwater under water or we can say start swimming <laughs> start swimming start swimming and when we are inside the water that we have set the level we can say uh, set bool value and the pool we want to set is the same one which we have made uh, start swimming to be enable all right so when we get inside the water the this pool will be uh, true and we want to say control C and control V that when we come out of the trigger so on trigger exit we want to say new event uh, to we can say finished so finished and there we go and we also want to set the bool value so come over here and make sure that the bool value is on the top and make sure that it is uh, uh, false so when this is checked then it means true and then it is not checked it means false so here it is false and when you get inside the uh, the water it gets true there we go great so now if I say play and if I get inside the water just like that he starts uh, he goes in there and the bull is set to true and then we come out it goes over there and bull is set to false great so now what we want to do is we want to use that bull to drive our the other FSM so this is what we made in the previous video not this one not this part the swimming uh, but the other things we made this in our previous videos uh, where is that so this all thing in the previous videos in our GTA series so if you haven't seen them go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see them first so I was doing it and I forgot to delete this stuff so let me just quickly do that for you guys so that you do not uh, 
get confused delete transition and delete transition do that all right i guess it's it's good all right so now what we're going to do is we want to say add a state and we want the state to be swimming there we go so in this state we will start the swimming and we want to do the swimming when the bull is true the bull uh, the, that global bull all right so we're going to test the bull so we'll say bull test and the same one the global one which is start swimming if the start swimming is true we want to go to swimming so add a transition and call it swimming all right and drag and drop it over here just like that and we want to do the same thing uh, over and over uh, in the running in the rifle walk rifle run and during the slide and during punch and everything so let's just copy this guy and paste it in here do the same thing swimming in here uh, like that again in this slide do that and this and then in here again in running again rifle running and I don't think so we will be able to uh, we don't want uh, to go to swimming while we are aiming because in aiming we can't move alright and equip no uh, in this wall climbing I don't think so because there is no wall in water <laughs> and then punching I don't think so but slide okay so now in here uh, we have set the condition that when that bull is true we are going to swimming so in swimming what we are gonna do is we want to go ahead and copy all of these components so get axis vector and we made in the previous videos uh, or yeah get axis vector animator crossfade set animator float smooth look at direction and that's that control C that and control V over here uh, it's good to that and if you want to transition uh, lock that uh, what's the state name it's s idle uh, so let's say s uh, idle there we go and you want to transition to this state uh, it's good then set enemy to float that's great and I think so it looks good to me and then what we can do is we can say bull test again uh, and when the bull is false global bull the star swimming is false then we are uh, it is false we got going to say to idle and we're going to idle there we go all right every frame make sure that's every frame and make sure that it is on top of everything there we go and I think so it should work now and as you have seen that this this uh, animation is pretty slow so we can make it fast by going in and select this animation and you can uh, set the speed to uh, I guess 3 and 8 to 2 and then we can select the player see that and see if it's working or not okay So now in our any uh, idle state and walk state and we go inside the water he will start doing that animation great and then he starts to swim there we go he's swimming and when we release that he starts doing the idle thing and then we come out he actually comes out of the water like that so it looks good to me I think it's that he starts swimming and there we go okay. and you can also set the wait time for like he's underwater so if he's uh, underwater for too much time then he will die like uh, die of oxygen all right and yeah that's it let me just quickly save the scene so that was that guys hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do uh, and if you want you can also donate me some money through paypal the link to that is also in the description box below and if you want to see my previous videos go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see them too so that's that with that done hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video till then be cool <laughs> okay